Jump by Chris Seekley. You guys want to do the bungee jump? Uncle Hone asked as they entered the lift. No, said Pania. Yes, said Matthew. We'll ask at the top, said Uncle Hone. Going up, Matthew's stomach felt like jelly. Although he'd never been to the West Tower before, he knew it was one of the tallest buildings in New Zealand. Now he wasn't so sure about the bungee jump. Look, said Pania. Through the glass panels, they could see how high they were. They watched the city dropping away below them. Ooh! A woman in the lift grabbed her boyfriend. I hate heights! Me too, thought Matthew. The lift stopped, the doors opened, and they got out. There were heaps of people on the viewing platform, all peering through the floor to ceiling windows. The view was incredible. The city was laid out before them like a town for ants. That's where your nana lives, said Uncle Hone, pointing. Really? How can you tell? asked Pania. See, there's the harbour, and there's the stadium, said Uncle Hone. Nan's place is south of that, and a bit to the left. At the edge of the viewing platform, the floor was also made of glass. Matsu watched Uncle Hone and Pania walking on the glass, as if they were walking on air. How high are we? Pania asked. Only 292 metres, said Uncle Hone with a smile. Matsu held on to the handrail. His head felt dizzy, and his stomach felt funny. Hurry up, said Pania. Come and stand here with us. It's easy. She jumped up and down on the glass. Then she lay face down with her arms and legs spread like a starfish. This glass floor is perfectly safe, said Uncle Hone, reading from a sign. It says here that it's as thick as the concrete floor. Like you, Matsu, laughed Pania. Nah, like you, Pania. I'm more like hard as steel, said Matsu, walking off to the bathrooms. He felt sick. Jumping off West Tower had seemed an easy thing to do when he was on the ground looking up. But now, he was up here looking down. Kia kaha, he whispered, splashing his face with cold water. When he came back, Pania and Uncle Hone were watching a man who was about to jump. The man was on an outside platform with the instructor, and he looked nervous. When he jumped, everyone gasped, and the woman who hated heights squealed. I think I'm going to faint! Her boyfriend looked at Matsu. Your uncle says you're going to jump, is that right? Yes, said Matsu, even though he felt like fainting too. You sure you're big enough? said the man. I think they have a weight restriction. That's right, said Uncle Hune, with a wink. I forgot. Jumpers have to be at least 35 kilograms. Otherwise they can fall through the safety harness. Are you 35 kilograms, Matsu? Nearly. Matsu replied. Nearly twenty-five, more like it, said Pania. Sorry, man of steel, said Uncle Hone. Looks like your jump's off. Matsu couldn't hide the smile. But that's not fair, he said. Tough luck, my man, that's the rule, said Uncle Hone. Put on a bit more weight and come back next year. I will, said Matsu. I definitely will.
Yeah, right, said Pania. You can't even walk on the glass floor. Matsu strolled onto the glass and started crumping. Then he did a five-second haka. Then he dropped to the floor and did press-ups. The crowd gave him a round of applause. Show off, said Pania. You guys want to get a photo before we go? said Uncle Hune. Yes, said Pania and Matsu together. There was a photographer on the viewing deck with a special green screen for trick photos. When Pania, Matsu and Uncle Hune left the West Tower, they had a set of glossy photographs in a cardboard envelope. This is my favourite, said Pania. Mine too, said Matthew. The photo showed Matthew and Pania on the jumping platform. Matthew was falling backwards with a bungee cord attached to him, and Pania was pushing him off. Let's get it framed, said Uncle Hune. We can give it to Nan for Christmas.